it's been a while since my last part but i got a lot of questions asking how to add custom music and sound effects so this video will go over just music because it's a little longer and more complicated but i'll go step by step on how to get music working and next time i'll do sound effects so yeah all right so once you have all the files installed this should be everything you need well at least for we're gonna first go into the fmod bank tools file open it i'm gonna open this so the bank source folder this will be the where the bank files are stored in the actual pizza tower game bank folders is like the music file containing all the songs and then the the wave destination folder will be the other one so i'll show you how to do that so first we're going to find this one so click select and you want to go into uh yeah this one you want to go into here you want to go into assets and click ok and now to find your bank source folder you want to find it you're going to want to go into run and then paste in this it will be in the description to take it to here now click on the sound file then desktop this file right here is the file you're going to want to put into the bank tools so we're going to go to fmod bank tools and we're going to put this exact file in so located through the fmod bank tool once completed you don't want to click extract and wait for it to finish extracting this may take up to like a few minutes but just give it some time all right once the extracting is finished we're going to click ok and we're going to close out of it so we don't need this anymore Next, we're going to head to this file. And as you can see, the assets folder, which was once empty, now contains all the music to the game. This is because the music, the bank uh, file, was now extracted. So now we can open everything up. So we're going to open this. So show opening. All right. Now, there, now that we're in here, you can see. Music and SFX. So now both our files are here. What you're going to want to do now, we're going to create a new folder. We're going to name this mod dash music. Create another one. Mod dash SFX. These files are going to be the files we're putting our custom music in and creating it in. So we're going to make a uh, new event. Or over here, and then defaults, and then music timeline. I'm gonna create one. And now here's our music timeline. And so now we have that set up. Well, right here it says unassigned. So we're gonna wanna actually assign this. So assign to tag. And, or no, assign to bank. Browse. We're gonna assign this to the mod music bank. So browse mod music so there now it's assigned to this all right so once you're in the title uh the title music folder or sorry song we have two tracks here we have the uh looping one and we have the uh main title track so first just take a listen to the uh title one so it's pretty obvious that this keeps looping and the reason this happens is because the transition conditions don't let you get past uh, this until the parameter state is set to 1. So watch what happens when we set this to exactly 1. So we're going to go to 1. Now watch what happens. So as you can see, it took us straight to the skip marker. And the reason this happens, if we open the transition, we can see that once state reaches one, just right here, one to one, it could be like, for example, one to 25, if you wanted, that's just like for here, it's just uh, specified to be one. It will take it to the destination skip, which is this marker. All right. So now that we're back to our track, first let's dra drag and drop the um, MP3 we want to use. So for this example, I'll be using this song. All right. So with this song, I want this intro part to be looping until the player gets to the next room or in other words the state reaches one so what we're first going to do is add a loop region and now let's mark it for the intro so okay it should end around here yeah so we're gonna change it like that all right now let's listen 
So it needs to be extended a little bit. So let's kind of put it to where it's right. Also, if you hold down Alt, zoom in, you can zoom in like that. We don't want to be that zoomed in, but. So it can be moved just a tiny bit, but. Yeah, like that. Let's listen. So as you can see, this is going to keep looping over and over. So now let's add a second loop to the part where the actual song starts that we want to loop. So let's add loop region. We're going to drag it to around here. So we want this. I want to start here. Okay. So let's make it start right here. Now I can actually be a little better. Looks good. And now let's drag it to the rest of the song. Like that. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna need uh we need to add markers and transitions. So first we're gonna add a transition. Or first let's do a marker. Yeah. So add let's find where marker is. Add transition to region standpoint destination marker. Found it. Okay, so we're gonna to want to drag it here. And we're gonna name it exit. So you're gonna to want to drag this to wherever you want the looping part, looping part to stop. So for this example, I want to stop right here. This is where I want the song to exit the loop. And now we're gonna add our transitions. So add transition to marker exit. There. So this transition. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so let's go, let's go to our transition now and down here. So transition to markers exit. Okay, sorry, I was just checking. All right, let's click on it. Let's add a condition called state. As you can see, this is what we're gonna use to make it so if the state is one, it'll take us to exit. So over here. So destinations markers exit. So we're setting our destination to the exit marker. So let's set this to one. One one. So what this mean what this is saying is if the state is one, then it'll take you to exit. So let's change to zero now. Let's listen. Let's see if this works. Okay. We're going to change it to one in a second. Let's see if this works. So, as you can see, it took us past. Another thing you can do is uh, this little knob right here will let you change the volume. So if you don't want to make it louder or quieter. But this seems about good. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Now make sure to uh, name your uh, music file, whatever you want. I'll just name example for now. And now we're going to go into the Undertale mod tool. We're going to search up music underscore create also if you haven't set up undertale mod tool in the last video i uh, showed you guys how to do it go to this folder or this file and so this is the file to actually create the music and to make it play during each room but this this uh script we need to do use or into our folder sorry we're gonna go to this file right here we're gonna click this we're gonna open it and so this is the uh, actual code file we want to import. So now let's drag and drop it onto code. Let's click yes. And give it some time. Yes. Done. And as you can see, we have our updated script here. This is what we want to use. So let's go down. These are the uh, functions that or add music function is what actually adds the music to the game. 
these are all the tracks, as you can see. So, as you can see, it says event, music, W1, entrance. Now, if we actually go back into the, uh, the software, we can find for ourselves where they're located. So we go to music, W1, and as you can see, it leads us the same path as in the script. So if we want to add our own uh, track, that should be pretty easy. The first numbers right here, this is the room that like we want to add the track to. So an easy way to do it is just to go out and then we're going to head to the uh, rooms folder. And now let's find the room we want to edit. So for this example, I'm going to go to, let's see, entrance underscore one. If you click on this, it'll show us the uh, exact room we want to edit. So let's go back to our script. And so, let's go one. Let's go into our music underscore create. Right here. That's the right one. So, let's add. Add underscore music. Entrance underscore one. Comma. And now let's make the path to our... So, the folder we edited or added the song to was music dash mod. So in the script, we're gonna write music dash mod slash, and then put the name of your track, which in this example, it's called example. And then we're just gonna copy and paste this over one more time. It's for like um, secret tracks, but we don't have one in this example. Then the this is going to be our state parameter, which is set to zero. If we go back to our track, let's find it. This is zero right here. And then this would be one. If it's one, then it'll take us here. So we want to set it as zero. And we're going to write GML underscore script underscore music states. Or just copy and paste this. It's easier. So yeah, now we have our uh, track, which plays here. But first we need to actually import this track into the game files. But we're just going to add the code for now. And now let's go down here. Let's add a case. So if entrance underscore two, which is the other room. So the first room is called entrance underscore one. The second room is entrance underscore two. So you just put in what room you want the parameter to be set to one so we're going to copy and paste this we're going to make this one so what this is basically doing is over here the track is the state is set to zero but if you enter this room it will set it to one which is if it's set to one it'll take us here and it'll start looping so basically that's what that's doing now we actually have to import the music. So let's just save the script. All right, so let's go back. Let's go to our original folder. Let's click build. And this will build it into a bank file. So as you can see, now we have a mod music bank and a mod effects bank. This is still not in the original pizza tower folder, which is this one. This one contains all of the banks. Now you're gonna want to drag and drop master, master dot strings, mod music, and mod sound effects into the original Pizza Tower uh, sound folder, the desktop folder. Replace, and there it should be done. Let's go check it out. To Undertale module, and we're gonna go to this file. So search this up. So what we want to do is actually add our banks into the code. So we're just going to make a comma, and we're going to write the names of them. So we can just copy and paste this, actually. And desktop being the uh, folder where they're all contained in. Let's just take the name. So music-mod. Also, it's case sensitive, so be careful. Let's just, I am pretty sure that's the name. Confirm. So it's under. So 
We want music. On the bank. And then we're gonna also copy and paste this and make another one for sound effects, which we'll get into later. That works. So it kind of cuts off this effects dash mod. And so yeah, now if we save, we can save into the file. Let's let it load and let's go into the game and check our changes. Let's go into the level. Also ignore the fact that no other songs are playing. I accidentally deleted all the songs in the game. I was doing some testing. But yeah, as you can see, it's playing. So yeah, that's basically how to get custom music working. I'm going to make a second part explaining how to get sound effects working and also custom skins and more. If you have any suggestions, just leave them below. I'll probably be covering more things in part two. That's just because this part was a lot longer. Thank you guys.